Big oh, shark. You're going to have a fight on your hands, hands with that. And the shark is up him. All his mates are behind him. He's under the boat. Oh, I got mine on the big gear. Oh, oh dig it, dude. You lose it. Yes. Yeah. That big oh, shark. Oh. <laughs> Holy snapping dunk. He's going to town. Swears Island, Swears Island. This is All for Adventure, All for Adventure. Just a radio check. Tech, she on channel. This is Swears Island, reading you loud and clear. Copy that, Swears Island. Uh, it's all looking good. We're good to go. We'll see you in a few days. All right, have a good time, boys. Swears Island, all for adventure out. I'm feeling a bit nervous as we run out to Mornington Island. It's a 60k run, but mostly uncharted and dotted with rocky outcrops and coral bombies. There have been a few fatalities in this area, and it's a long way from help if you find yourself in trouble. Today, luck and experience are on our side, and we make it without any worries. We've only got a few hours before the tide turns. We better get looking. Where's that plane wreck, do you reckon, mate? I don't know, it's somewhere on this sand flat, mate. And I reckon that's the first place I'm going to start. Certainly can't see any big plane just sitting there. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> is that what you were hoping yeah. for? This is Mornington Island, and it's low tide at the moment. And this is the exact spot where the Havoc bombers landed. And they landed because they ran out of fuel. Now, if I was an aeroplane and I was picking Picking a spot to land, I'd be looking for the hardest compact part of the beach, which is usually down on that edge there where the water's been. Up on here, it's a lot softer. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna search on that sand flat area that gets the tidal movement over the top of it. I'll get Simon to head that way and see what he can find. We've got radios and we'll keep in contact. Whoever finds it first, Good luck. So if you see anything, give me a bell. All right, mate. See any mud crabs on your way around, get them too, eh? Yeah, I think you did say that, mate. <laughs> no worries. See ya. Okay, mate. But with no sign of the plane wrecks and a long stretch of beach to comb, it looks like this might take a lot longer than we thought. on the northern tip of Mornington Island, searching for two Havoc bombers that landed here in 1944. Simon's gone one way and I'm going another. And we've each got our own approach. So the thing with these bombers, there was two of them, two Havoc bombers. And they were on their way Papua New Guinea. Well, actually, they're on their way to Horn Island, which is halfway between Papua New Guinea and the mainland of Australia. And they've ended up down here because they've, they've kept Australia on their left and they've gone right around the tip of Cape York and they've come right down into the Gulf. Now, they did not realise that Mornington Island was inhabited. There was a settlement here. Now, they were here for five days marooned on this sandbank or this island for five days and they were getting absolutely hammered by mosquitoes and apparently they wrapped themselves in their parachutes to get away from them each night so you can imagine they had no insect repellent mosquitoes would have been absolutely hammering them now these guys were american servicemen or american airmen and to them this is a foreign world. As nice as the walk is, it's time of the afternoon, searching for this elusive plane wreck. I think we've got a buckly chance of finding it. We'd rather be out fishing. We'll have a look. Now, they grabbed the life rafts from their, from their aeroplanes and they've decided that they're going to hit the water. Now, it's a pretty game decision because one, they don't know where they are. And two, 
limited water and food supplies. But they do, they hit the water and they end up on an island just offshore from here. And this island's full of turtles. Now we're gonna go and visit that island later. But it is, it is a, real, a real story of survival for these, for these guys. I don't know about you, but I'd hate to be in that situation. So Jase, how far up, to this, up this beach do you want me to go? Yeah, mate. Yeah, you go a little bit further, eh? I haven't seen anything down my end. No, likewise. Just, just think of an aeroplane, mate. Think if you're a pilot, where you would land? You know, you're looking for hard sand, I reckon. When did this plane crash? The 1940s, mate. It didn't crash, they actually landed them. All right, I'll go a bit further. All right, mate, I'll keep going too. Time is short. We have to get back to the boat once the tide turns. We're thinking we might have to return empty-handed. And then... Are you there, Jase? Yeah, mate. Yeah, uh, I think I've actually found it. You're joking me, you found something? Yeah, no, it's definitely um, plain bits. I wouldn't say it's overly impressive, but it's definitely plain bits. That's it, mate, that's great. That's how it's an aeroplane. Well, I think it is. It's bits of metal covered in rivets, so I'm assuming that's plain. That's gotta be it, mate, that's gotta be it. We'll be there shortly. I'm coming now. Time for a jog. Well, this is definitely, definitely one of the planes we were looking for. It almost to me looks like that's one end and that's the other end. There's sort of bits sticking out of the sand north-south, northwest, southeast. I've no idea what the bits are. They're pretty big excavated to find the rest of it, I reckon. This is where someone parked the plane once. What a bugger of a spot to run out of here. Miles from anywhere here. You got no boat? Bugger. Not much left, mate. Not oh. above sand anyway. Oh, mate. That's it, eh? That's it. That's an aeroplane. That's not a crab pot. No. <laughs> you can see bits of, like, that's obviously structure of the yeah. fuselage. That's the spars, mate. Spars, structure. That's it for sure, mate. Well done. <laughs> well done. Tex is just gonna, mate, he's gonna love it. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna have to go and get some photos of it for sure. But that's awesome. You can imagine, imagine those, those, uh, those airmen, mate. Like this, this would have been a hostile environment for them, yeah. eh? Get out. Didn't they get, didn't they go to the other islands? How'd they get there? I like, sort of half heard Tex saying. The life rafts, remember? Yeah, that's right. They paddled their life rafts yeah. from the plane. Yeah. So you can imagine, they probably scoped out this area here and huddled up maybe in the bushes there. Well, they might have stayed with their plane, but apparently the mosquitoes just hammered them. But this is it, and this is all that's left. I feel pretty privileged, mate, to... That's pretty cool. ...to have seen it, eh? Mm. Like, it's, it's... Obviously, it's not an aeroplane, but... I had high hopes of, like... You know, to climb in it and stuff. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You want to sit in the, the yeah, seat and, yeah. you know, play with the joystick. That was the one. I want to see if there's any bombs left in it and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Big machine guns. And... Yeah, well, apparently, a mob of Australians <laughs> came in there. and pil <laughs> pilfered it, mate. Bloody the Australian, Australian Army came in and, and pilfered it all. Well, what do you reckon, mate? Uh, Sun's going down. I think we got to find a spot. Oh, and some of a camp, eh? See if we can get over to that island where the boys, you know, those airmen ended up. Mm. They paddled, mate. They paddled yeah. to that island. It's a strange feeling as we leave these proud warbirds here, sitting on the flats like sentinels. They look north, marking the path of many young men that pass by overhead on their way to fight for their country, lest we forget. G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the Boss Shadow 180. Now it's a 180 degree awning and it's made by Camp Boss 4x4, perfect for a setup like this on the side of a wagon. What I'll do is I'll show you how easy it is to set up by yourself. All right, we whack this on like this. This one comes around, okay? Now it's got these little ratchies 
Okay, makes it easier to set up. Hook it on the little hook here, like that. Adjust it around and pull on the ratchet. So that's set up there like that. Then we go around, we get the, the back bit, slide him out like that and pull it tight. There we go. So 280 GSM waterproof and up to 50 UV protection. It's got a light, a full size LED light on both arms and every one of the frames is a full A-frame type setup. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Bosch Shadow 180. A great 180 degree of coverage. Keep the sun off you, keep the rain off you. Awesome bit of kit. If you get a chance, check it out. Anyway, back to the adventure. We're in the Gulf of Carpentaria and the sun is setting. We find an island to pull up on and spend the night. The turtles up here are the most relaxed I've ever seen. They seem not to be worried about our presence at all. As twilight fades, we find a spot and set up camp. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get a fire going. We're gonna go and check out some turtles. I reckon this place, we're gonna nickname Turtle Island. What do you reckon, Simon? Well, there seems to be a lot of turtle tracks around here, so... Uh, There's a lot of turtles on the way here, eh? Heaps of them. We set out looking for turtles. But tonight, it's a different species of wildlife that crosses our path. Don't bite me, don't bite me. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt ya. Calm down. Now this guy here, we think he's a curly, but I'm not 100% certain. But he's definitely a long-legged bird and he's here for one thing. And he's on this island because he knows that little turtles hatch from the sand and you only got to look at that beak and that's a solid beak and that thing, that beak there, would smash little turtles as they come out of, out of their nest and head down to the water's edge. And there's a, there's a lot of birds here, you can hear them behind me. Look at those eyes. It's alright mate, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright, we're going to let you go. Hopefully we're gonna to get to see some baby turtles tonight, or at least some turtles laying. So here we go, we're gonna let him go. Not impressed. Not happy. There he is. He looks like a curly when he's rowing. He does, doesn't he? Sure. We spot a few other critters on the beach, but there'll be no turtle sightings tonight. So we hit the swags, ready to get up again with the sun. Boat's still here. That's good. Made it to the island late last night. <sighs> Wasn't too bad. Found a good little anchorage here. We're gonna see if we can explore the island today. There is just literally hundreds of turtle tracks. Had a bit of a look around last night and didn't see any turtles. But I don't think we're on the actual beach. There's got to be some good fishing around here, so I might go and wake Simon up. See how we go. Oi, get out of bed. What's going on? Once What's I get on, Lazy mate? Bones Sunday. out of his swag, we'll Time hit the water. We can pack up camp when Boat's we get back. It's an absolutely awesome morning here, out off one of the islands of Mornington Island. And I reckon, what do you reckon, Simon? I reckon it's time we went fishing, eh? Grab that anchor, mate, and let's get out of here. Or at least, that's what we think. Just hold on a sec, eh? I do not like the sound of this. Did you touch anything last night? What are you doing? I don't know. It's all there. It's all happening. You mucking around? No. 
No, that ain't starting. Stop it. It ain't starting. Wait, they're too far away, that drama's. Oh, shit. You kidding, aren't you? Where's the fuel bowl thing in here somewhere? Yeah, down in there, mate. The pump is. Just the hand pump. See him there? You got fuel in the fuel bowl. Oh, well, there's nothing in the squeegee. Nothing? Nothing. Uh, there's got to be fuel there. No, absolutely nothing. I put nothing. 40 litres in last night, mate. There's nothing. we got truckloads. My gauge says half full. Well, must, half full. Must have an airlock or something. There's, there's just not even a little bit priming up in this primer bowl. There's no fuel. Let me Just let me go, go again. again. I, I can't keep going too long, mate. With damaged batteries, we'll be run out of power. Is there any way you can check the fuel in the tank? Yeah, I can do a check through the inspection port. We'll try that. It'll start there. All right, let me get some tools. With help days away, it's fair to say that we're in more than a spot of trouble. Jeez, they've seen the salt water a few times, mate. They get a bit of action, these tools, mate. Hopefully today they're going to save us. So in here, in here is the sender. And this is where we can do a check. See what's going on. Don't you drop one of them, mate? Yeah, I know, mate. I do not want to drop one of these. Not good. Can you uh, grab one of that, that uh, one of those spear shafts, please, mate? We'll do a check. You want to start rationing the water, buddy? Yeah, well. Might be here for a few days. I don't want to be stuck here for a few days. That's for sure. Right. It's We're a long, wrong. long way from anywhere here. We are. Oh, this, mate, is, this is out there. We're in, the middle, we're in the middle of the gulf. It's just well I didn't roll my swag up this morning then. Be here a while, you reckon? You gotta be happy about pulling that out out here. Not. Not. Alright, that's I can, out. I got any fuel in there from here. I've cleaned it up, so it's all good. There's heaps of fuel in there, mate. This is about here. I saw it when you came out. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah there's truckloads of, there's fuel, in of fuel in there. That's, that's, there's got to be 200 litres in there. How the hell have we got an airlock? How's that happen? I Could don't know. When we did a couple of little brooches coming in yesterday, maybe? It was pretty rough, was, eh? Yeah, and the fuel's down. When we come over that reef, there was decent ways, a bit of a brooch. Maybe we suck a gut load of air or something in. We're gonna have to try and prime it. Just just let me get this back together without dropping anything. This is very important. Anyway, I, I think we need to check now between the tank and the and the engine and to see what's going on and why we can't get fuel up. Just gonna see if there's any fuel at the fuel bowl or see if there is a fuel bowl. Yeah, there's no fuel back at the little fuel bowl on the engine, eh? No? No. There's definitely a fuel problem between the tank and the and the motor, eh? Yeah. To me it, it sounds like we've got an airlock and you can't you can't seem to prime that fuel up. So I reckon if we check around that filter area, we check all the fittings and make sure there's no air getting sucked in. I'll put this back together. We don't need to get in here anymore. So you got a flat screwdriver, mate? A couple of these fittings in here are actually loose. They're a bit loose? Yeah, there's a couple of them. They could have worked themselves loose on those rough corrugated roads, mate, too. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. Does all sorts of things, those rough roads. Actually, one of these is really loose, eh? Is it? Yep. Just check them all, nip them up. Yeah, yeah, they all can go tighter, but one of them's like really, really loose. Is, is it sort of almost leaking? I reckon suck in there, eh? Yeah, that'll be it. Nip it up and see how we go. Could we be that lucky? We could be. How are you going with that thing? Got it back in? Nearly there. I'll just put these fittings back on. Yeah, no, there's a bit of fuel come up now. All right, just hold on and I'll give her a go, eh? That's got to be what it is. Fingers crossed. Here we go, mate. All right. Sure. Uh, you feel yet? Yeah, it's not 100%. There's more there, like there is some there. Keep trying, I'll still keep pumping. Give it another go. Hey. Yeah, 
Hey! <laughs> Hello! Well done, mate. Hello. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> now you should have seen the look on the cameraman's face. It's pretty funny, wasn't it? I'll tell you what. <laughs> You thought, we, you thought we were worried. You should have seen the look on the cameraman's face. One thing about being out here and, and, and being stuck with a boat is usually two reasons. Fuel and battery. Too sketchy, that is. That was too close for comfort. But we're back up and running, so let's have a look around the island. Simon's just jumped off. There's a couple of turtles up on the beach here. And it's early morning, high tide. More than likely they're coming up because of the high tide. Instead of last night, it was low tide. Well, these are big greenback turtles. And there's literally hundreds of the things around here. And this is an absolute prime environment for them to lay their eggs. Because all they've got is some birds, a few sharks and stuff like that. So the chances of survival are a lot better than most. So they'll come up onto the beach and they'll lay a couple of hundred eggs. And they'll go back down and away they go. I think we'll leave her be, eh? I reckon so. But she's not the only big turtle on this beach. There's another one. They're big females. Teaming with them. Just chilling in the shallows. There are sea turtles wallowing at the water's edge, as far as the eye can see. All of these are an endangered species. Most of them don't seem to care that we're around. They're just happy letting the waves break over their shells. I reckon what they're doing She's laid her eggs in the early hours of this morning and they come down and just rest because they're buggered from laying their eggs. Yeah, they rest in the edge having a sleep. Until we come along and disturb her. Disturb her. We'll leave them alone now and head back to the boat. It's time to get out into the Gulf for a spot of fishing. G'day guys, this video is brought to you by Campos 4x4's Boss Air Tire Deflators, mate. This is Australia's number one tire deflator, without a doubt. It's so easy, I can't believe how easy it is. You grab them out, you make the setting on here to which whatever pressure you want to drop your tire to, lock her in, whack her on here, like that, and away it goes. Deflates all four tyres at once. I reckon by the time you get back around to the front, she'll be almost ready to go and you're off on the tracks. Anyway, if you want to check them out, so you go over to Campos 4x4's web store. They're available on there. Otherwise, have a look at the list. There could be a dealer around the corner from you guys. Anyway, that's enough mucking around. Let's get back to the video and back to the adventure. We've spotted a commotion among the bait fish. Better stop and see what's stirring them up. You got a shark, mate? The shark is up here. All his mates are behind him. Oh, GTs, are they? Yeah. Time for us to get in on the action. I think it's a Trevally smashing up the bait. I think that's what it is, yeah. Got him? Got him, mate. Got him. Oh, well done. Oh, here we go. Did you get him? Big oh, shark, you're gonna have a fight on your hands with that. With that little puppy. There's a little mackerel in there too. They're thick. Let's go the other way. He's under the boat. He's out. Get him out. This might take a while, eh? This is a good fish, mate. So far, mate. Yeah, the You're again. Oh. Well, you gotta love the double hook, aren't they? This one's gonna take a while, I think. Oh, I got mine on the big gear. Oh. Digging to it. Did you lose it? Shark got him, I think. Yeah. Oh. That big shark. Oh. Oh. Holy snap and dunk. He's going to town. Oh. I'm gone, that shark got him. 
Well, that's good. You got out of my way anyway. Got out of your I'm way. Happy with that. Oh, what you got? Oh, no, but he's putting on a turn. A bit of weight to this little fella. Is there? Yeah. He's not ripping in like the last one. Oh, I'm just going to stick another one of these crazy legs on. I reckon that is what's going to get me. Whatever He's a gimbal down the right about there, be nice. <laughs> I think I might have jagged him or something. I think it's only another Trevally, but he's pulling way harder than that last one. Are you talking it up, mate? It's the same as the last one. I don't know why he's putting on such a turn, this bloke. He's just a tougher fish. Well, Lou works a treat, mate. Don't just hook him in. Put it in the air. Oh. Putting on a bit of puff there, mate, for such a little fish. Yeah, but I did catch two. Uh. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get the bail arm over, boy. <laughs> oh. Hello, Eddie. You're on fire, mate. What do you got? <laughs> I think you might need to crank the drag up a bit, because that Trevally, it was only little. And it made you look like you were half. Hey, but I did bite him. Huh? I did get a... You just worry about catching your Turn the drag up a bit, mate. You just worry about catching your You're making it look flash, but it's not. Oh, I've got a big fish. Huh? Get it. Into him. Get some of that line back. Big fish. Might be a bigger GT, mate. Same, same. Come with a bit of stick. Well, you don't think you're going to be here a while. It's got that look about it. Like you say, I might just be dramatising it too. <laughs> drama queen. Oh, drama queen, eh? Just a little tiny GT, mate. <laughs> Foul hook too. Oh, no, what is it? You're kidding me. What is it? Big Goldie. Yeah, it's a big Goldie and he's in half. Oh, has he been smashed? Yeah. Oh, not happy. Not happy one little oh. bit. Look at the size of the oh, Goldie. Oh, that was an awesome fish. I told you it was a good fish. It was too. Is that just disappointment or what? That's a big fish. What's left of it? No! Oh, shut up, you big killer. <laughs> that was my best one yet. Oh, there's still two kilos of flesh on that. <laughs> we'll eat that later. OK, my turn now without the hysterics. Just a little one. See, that didn't take much fuss. You were huffing and puffing before. Who's your odds at Yours. There you go, buddy. There's literally hundreds of those things around here. What we want is down the bottom. And that's big goldies. Like what Simon got half of. Because there's obviously, where there's big fish and bait, there's big sharks. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It's on. <laughs> yeah, got him in the oh, No, no, you haven't jagged him. Something going on. Oh, one of those Trevors. Oh, no, Queenie. Oh, Queenie. Is it a Queenie? It's a Queenie. It is too. It's a green Queenie too. He's going to be flapping his arsehole. Oh, keep him away from me. <laughs> well, he's free. He's free of the world. Pounce on that Queenie. <sighs> go ahead, go. Like, oh, yeah, Remember that last time? Go the Queenies. <laughs> Just smashed it. Gotta love that. Here he comes. He was, he was coming. He's better fun on light gears. Just using a winch, mate. That's why they call it sports fish. Is that what it is? Not a skull dragon fish. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> right at the boat. <laughs> Go 
going off. <laughs> I'm coming past you, mate. You go under me, that's it. You're going under the boat. So much better fun on this light gear. Oh no, I'm having a ball over here. <laughs> That's no support. Oh! <laughs> He's battered at the boat. I'm underneath. Up again. <laughs> <laughs> you on again? Yeah, mate. I'm still trying to bait the first fish. What do you got this time? Let's see who lands yeah. it first. Simon with his winch, or me on the light gear. This side's fighting really dirty. <laughs> but it is worth the effort. Ooh, there's, there's a shark. Gear. There's a shark. Shark. Oh. I think a shark's chasing mine. <sighs> this guy's just run me ragged. You have to just try to wrangle the green. Now, what they reckon, when you hear the fishermen say, when you hear the fishermen say, I haven't got any colour yet, well, there we go, I've got some colour. What it means is, it's when you get the first side of the fish under the water, and that's what getting a bit of colour is. You can see the colour of the fish and maybe get an idea of what it is. So, I've got. A trevally. Oh, we got this caught. There's another one following it. All right, let's get him in the boat. Oh, look at that. That's a big fish. Now, these guys are good chewing. They're really good chewing when they're fresh. And there's a fair bit of meat on them. But I'm going to throw him back today. If we don't get any, any more fish, we might have to grab one for tonight's dinner. But you're free, mate. In you go. You gotta love that sort of fishing. You know, don't worry about Simon with his big boat winch. Catches three fish to my one. Excuses, excuses. He's doing it easy. Excuses. He's doing it easy, mate. It's time to pack up camp and move on. Well, that's us. But you can only imagine those guys, when they rocked up here in their life rafts, and this place to them, it's not paradise like it is now, because they were in a world of hurt. They were already five days in, and they paddled, paddled their guts out to get to this island. Some serious currents out there. But it wasn't long after they, they landed on this island that rescue came. And they were able to get back home to their families. The four airmen were spotted by a patrolling Australian Catalina flying boat and picked up after their 10-day ordeal. Now we're off, we're going to load up and we're going to get out of here and back to the mainland. What do you reckon, mate? Let's go, mate. All right, let's go. The cone we saw, we caught some fish. We sure did. So it's back to open water for the 130-kilometre run back to Burketown. Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, <laughs> fishing, touring, rebuilds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show, All For Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's and more original series from Jason and the team. In this mini series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down there. You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah. That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure. Not washing it. He's got it. He's 
practice. 